Good morning, this is Minister Paul, 7.53 a.m. on 11-4-2012. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. I have had trouble accessing my new account. Uh, the new YouTube format is just a, a mess. I don't know if everybody else has it or not, but it just keeps forcing me to try to join Gmail and Google Plus. This is not my, that's just an email address they gave me. So I can't just like, this new format is horrible. I've already, I got the big old send feedback button at the bottom. Can't stand it. The social thing, it wants to connect me to all of these. Refuse to do it. Um, my inbox is virtually impossible to find. Um, so, I've already expressed my thoughts with them via the send feedback thing. And that's about all I can do. So anyway, run a couple of stories here real quick. This woman has been a Sacramento poll worker for 15 years. And she lost her job in 10 minutes for simply asking a question about these United Nations to come monitor uh, her polls. Now, if I had been monitoring polls for 15 years and I heard that the United Nations was coming over here. What are they, uh, and, and everybody's saying this has been going on forever. I submit to you that this, if this has been going on forever, this woman who'd worked there for 15 years would have known it. So let's run this. She says, well, it, we can't have any intolerance. And I said, well, I said, what exactly, what exactly is an intolerant of? A poll worker tonight is out of a job. She says it's because of an email she sent to her supervisor. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Shannon Bernias. The woman says she was concerned about poll inspectors coming to Sacramento for Tuesday's election. Ben Sisenko is live in South Sacramento with what happened after that woman voiced those concerns. Yeah, and Shannon Lewis has been a poll worker here for 15 years, but she says she sent an email and was fired in just 10 minutes. So I just tapped out a really fast um, email. But that quick email ended Shannon Lewis's 15-year job as a Sacramento County pollster. And I just wanted to kind of make my feelings known and get an answer to the question before polling day. Shannon's email inquired about something she saw on the Internet. United Nations observers coming to local polling stations. I was on Facebook one day and I saw this thing that I assumed was a brand new thing. Shannon wrote in her email, quote, These are not our usual pollsters. They can't vote here and therefore have no business in about our elections, end quote. Within minutes, she was on the phone with a supervisor who told her her services were no longer needed. She says, well, it, we can't have any intolerance. And I said, well, I said, what exactly, what exactly is it intolerant of? UN monitors are not new to U.S. elections. They've been observing here since 2002. But Shannon says she was never told about them during her training. And Sacramento County would not comment to us on the reasons for her dismissal. I didn't make the mistake of doing something on election day. And Shannon says she won't file any legal action against the county. She just wants her supervisors to see this story and be embarrassed for their actions. Okay, Ben Sasenko reporting for us live. Thanks. As well as they should be. I mean, she, she had, her, it's her job to protect the polls and make sure they're run right. And what are the United Nations doing there anyway? And if someone have, that's been there for 15 years has never heard about it. Uh, I, I find this whole story just an ongoing part of the New World Order. There's your Illuminati all-seeing eye thing there. Um, hope you're ready. God bless.